The book that I read is called Black and White and Dead All Over. It's a pretty, pretty large book there. And it is kind of a pun. The title is kind of a pun on that joke that goes, What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. So this book is actually about a newspaper. And it's written by someone who worked at a newspaper. So the person that wrote the book is John Darden. And he's 72 now, but he wrote this book in 2008. And he has five fiction books. This is the most recent one. And he also has a memoir. And he graduated from the University of Wisconsin. And then he became a copy boy for the New York Times. And after he did that for two years, he got promoted to reporter. And he did a lot of reporting um, on high profile cases like the Black Panther trials. And then he became a foreign correspondent. And he won a lot of um, prestigious awards there too including um, in 1982 he won the Pulitzer Prize for international reporting so he's kind of a big deal. So this book is based on a murder that occurred inside of the newspaper in the newsroom so it's kind of unusual because usually the reporters are reporting on things that happen outside of you know their inner community but since the um, murder actually occurs in the building it's kind of a different um, vibe the whole entire book because everyone's always thinking it could be any one of their co-workers. But the person that's murdered is the editor of the newspaper. And he's kind of a bit, he's a well-respected man, but he's despised by many because he has this um, brash, abrasive manner about him and he's hard to please. But he did a good job. And throughout the book, you, f you read things that obviously um, the, the reporter who's reporting on the story didn't know. So I think most of the dilemmas come from you know, it's hard to maintain an objective standpoint about someone who was your boss that you didn't really like, especially when you're uncovering secrets about them. So the book starts off with the murder scene, and um, the reporter that is picked to the story knows it's going to be a really big deal, so he's kind of like, I can't mess this one up. So they find the editor in the newsroom with an editor spike through his chest, and it immediately starts off the book with, you know, that, that gruesome murder. So the whole entire book, there's more than one murder. But the first murder, while they're trying to establish who did it, um, the reporter actually becomes a suspect, so they need his alibi. And he's fighting with his girlfriend during the book. There's all this stuff going on. And after his alibi checks out and he's no longer a suspect, he starts thinking about all of his co-workers. And while he's doing that, he discovers that the editor who was murdered was actually having an affair with another reporter at the newspaper. And the woman that he was having an affair with was actually married to a gay man, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, so as they're investigating that murder, he's getting tips from people, and he's kind of debating with, you know, should I tell the cops, should I not tell the cops? And he's also kind of crushing on the detective, the lead detective. She's the one who's in charge of the case, so he's trying to get information from her, but trying not to tell her too much because there was a police corruption story that the newspaper had done, so the police were kind of iffy about letting the newspaper get that information. So as they're investigating the first murder, then another murder happens, and this time the, um, the victim was wrapped in newspaper bundling wires from head to toe, like a mummy, and this, the victim was actually the woman that the editor was having an affair with, so it's this weird circle. And after that murder, the reporter starts to think, I could be next, so he kind of gets paranoid, and they're still looking into the murders. And then he discovers that there's been plagiarism, and that the editor of the newspaper was kind of looking into um, one of the reporters because she had been plagiarizing. So they start to think maybe she did it, but it wasn't her. So then another murder happens, and this time she was like, poisoned. So that's three murders that happened, and the book kind of talks about uh, well, I'm not going to tell you who did it. I might tell you after this video is over. But the, I think the main ethical dilemmas in the book are just how to remain objective when you have, like, obviously subjective opinions. And um, I think mainly it just kind of shows you what it's like to be a reporter and what your job would be like. So things that you would have never really thought about, you know, working in a newsroom. And it also get, you can tell that the person who wrote it had a lot of experience in the newsroom because a lot of the things he says, you're like, I would have never thought of that. And uh, yeah, that's it.